Between you, Stephen, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life. <clears throat> God wants me to expose more murderers. I'm going to do what he says, whether anybody likes it or not. Uh, Jerry Garcia from the band The Grateful Dead. I remember a guy named Zeph Daniel. He said that when he was a kid, he grew up in these Illuminati families. He would see somebody m m missing a finger. It means they cut off their finger for the Cosa Nostra, the Illuminati. It doesn't really matter, the secret society. Well, we're told that Jerry Garcia lost his finger in a, you know, an accident accent as a kid. Well, guitar players, I'm a guitar player, they call it an axe. I think that's rather ironic. I'm here to tell you that as a kid, Jerry Garcia sold his soul to the devil and that's why the finger was missing. I don't need proof I'm a prophet. Someday these things will come out. If you need proof, there's second proof, you can't hear me, so be it. There's nothing I can do about this. This is truth. You take it inside your heart, you take it to God. If you know Jesus, you're going to say, this is truth. Phil Lesh had, I believe his name was Doug Irwin, Killed. There was a big dispute over the guitars. This guy uh, made the guitars, and then Jerry, um, I believe it was Doug Irwin, it may have been another guy, um, he died in a fire accident on his boat. Mysteriously. Well, Phil's MI6. Phil has hardcore Satan works for Freedom 5, said he went to some like secret like concert at you know, Freemason Lodge with Phil Les. This is what they do. They're murderers. Jim Carrey murdered his Irish girlfriend. Oh, but a sweet last he was. He's the same word as being murderer. They all are. I just know this one for a fact. Straight from Jesus. I don't need proof. I dare you people to sue me. Bible says, I'll curse those who curse you and bless those who bless you. I am spiritual Israel. Jesus said he'll be with me. I'm on offense now. I've been on defense for years. Well, I was always on offense. Now people are going to find out why. <clears throat> uh, who else do I need to expose that I know? Oh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Killed his brother. Now, when I say killed, I don't mean they necessarily pulled the, the bullet. Billy Corgan may have been playing a show the day when Kurt Cobain's head was blown off, but he signed off on it. They do the ritual. They sell their soul. So that doesn't mean they may have a perfectly good alibi. They may be on the other side of the world at the time the person died, but they sign off on it. Some other Satan worshiping murderer who already was part of the club pulls the trigger and says, okay, you're here. You're part of this. You get the benefits of it. You're still going to hell. This is how it works. This is the world. It's not going to change until we expose these things. Benjamin Netanyahu's brother dies in Uganda. Now he's going to tell you I'm a monster and he loved his brother and everything. I'm sure he did. Same time with Vladimir Putin with a little teardrop on the teardrop monument. They didn't want to kill them. I mean, he'll tell you, you don't think I really wanted to kill these people, do you, <laughs> No, I'm sure you probably didn't. I mean, these people have some humanity in them. But hey, it's business. I mean, the teardrop is the commerce, Mercury, World Trade Center. Okay? These people are murderers. And while I'm at it, the king of Thailand, he killed his brother too. Look it up. 60, 70 years ago, he just died. I think it was Rama the Ninth. All of a sudden, his brother dies, and now he gets the, the big kingdom. This is not difficult. It's very sad. I don't like I mean, I don't like this, but once you understand how this works, it's like just look up the celebrity's death. Do they ever have, like, you know, a loved one dies of cancer or something? Yes. But it's very rare. Okay? I mean, just look at the tragic celebrity death. It's either they sacrifice someone, or they started to talk, and then someone died. This is how they do things. Then you look bad by even suggesting such. This is how it's done. Once you look at it, you can't not see it. It's like, this is not even difficult. It's very sad. I, I don't like saying this, but I want these people exposed. There's a family member who's not coming back, who had people who love them. And I'm the law. I'm the second Moses. I'm America the individual, whether anybody likes it or not. I'm telling the truth as I know it to be. Of course we know Princess Di and Fayed were killed. Britain, Egypt, Egyptian, whatever, gold or whatever they got going on in the secret sacrifice. I mean, this is for numbers. This is how they do things. They practice Scientology. This is real Scientology, killing people for numbers. They seed the future, just like they're going to grow a plant and they harvest it later. It's really sick. This is how it's done. Okay? I'm going to come up with some more, not because I'm making this up, because when I, I, I know how this thing works. When I see it, I'm just like, that's a murder. That's a murder. 
So this is the world. It seems like there was someone else I'm trying to forget. I, I want to remember. I'm trying to think who else I need to expose, because they're all there. Okay, we know the Clintons murdered on like dozens and dozens of people through Lena, Arkansas. I mean Oh, I know. This Bannon guy. When Saturday Night Live puts a picture of him, you know, like the Skeletor, the Grim Reaper, they're not telling you that, like, oh, he's bad and the liberals just think he's bad. They're telling you he took out Bannon. He, sorry, he took out Breitbart. Bannon took out Breitbart. I don't care if people like this or not. I don't like this to be the case. I don't like saying this. It doesn't make me feel good. I'm not looking for attention. I'm just showing you what Jesus shows me. And when you mock and shame, you'll get cursed. And then all the evidence will come out. And then what do you do? Well, you've been exonerated. No, I was right the first time. I haven't been exonerated. I'm not negative because you thought I was a negative. You sent from Jesus and this is the truth. This is not things that I like. By the way, while I'm at it, why not, why not go all the way? Robert Mugabe killed his wife and his little boy on little dates. Why? Because he's a dictator. He's a murderer. They're all murderers. This is what they do. From Zimbabwe. That is Zimbabwe. This is how it is, and I'm going I'm to expose more murderers. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to shout from the rooftop. Got a Bible with me. It's time for this nonsense to stop. I'm going to bring you more. Be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Forgive me, Jesus, my everything wrong.